So, those are some of our previous experiments. On to the next. This is our latest innovation. We're making charging stations social. Huh? How can charging stations be social? By adding a social module. Let me explain. If almost everyone starts driving electric, they'll also have to charge their cars, and that has to match with what the grid can provide. Let's calculate what's needed. A modern electric car requires as much peak power to charge as 10 homes use on average. So, if 10 electric cars are all parked in the street and they all charge at once, this would create a power surge equivalent to 100 homes. Wow, 100. That's a lot, isn't it? Yes, you can imagine that the power grid is not always designed for that. So, there's a bigger chance of grid overload. Would my home then lose power due to all those cars charging? Not if we make our charging stations social. When given a signal, a station will take less power from the grid to prevent a possible blackout, a small sacrifice for the greater good. Charging the cars will then take a little longer, but the whole neighbourhood will still have power. Ah, I see. You'd rather see cars charge less quickly than have the whole neighbourhood black out. Yes, that's what it's all about. That's the problem we're trying to solve. And in our lab, we've actually found two possible solutions. One solution uses existing technology. Charging stations are managed centrally. This can be done via the existing smart meters in the stations, at least in the public ones. In the other solution, a group of charging stations work together decentrally, without being dependent on a central platform. This is run by the so-called LoRa network, a signal is sent from the transformer to the neighbourhood charging stations, telling them to charge at a lower rate. So, by using one of these techniques, charging becomes social. Correct. We expect that it'll only really be necessary every now and then, because we're working hard on smart charging. That's all about charging cars in a smart and sustainable way. But if we accidentally ask too much from the grid, these charging stations will still act socially by asking for less power and, in that way, prevent blackouts. Aha! That's a reassuring thought. Bring on the electric cars! <laughs>